I, would, I wouldn't know what to do anyways. Hello, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> so normally I do some drawing here, and I probably will still do some drawing. This is our um, the Adventures in Comic Making Discord. And um, look, you can tell somebody's bought a copy of Nine Volt Monsters. Very cool. Um, and it is a very active Discord where we do a lot of... Uh, drawing and critiquing sharing of art and we also organize our um anthology we do i would say it used to be three per year we just finished our ninth one but since i did one in january i think we're probably back on the schedule doing three and that meant we only did two last year but um we basically set the next one for june and I have a, let's see if I've got it right here. This is the survey. So the only way you get to the survey is you'll have to go to um, uh, our Discord. And this is how we um, decide what which is the topic that we're going to do. And I don't know if you can see this right here. This is where you vote on it. And I'm going to vote for mine as well. So I, I got a choice. These are you basically we we have a bunch of proposed ones, and you can see a bunch of proposed topics, and then you just sort of rate them. So superheroes is the first one. I'm going to give that one a six. I'm excited to do superheroes. I'm going to give adventure a four. I like adventure, and I'll give orbiting death ray, which is super villains. I'll give that one a four. Weird Arcana. I'll give that one a four. Oz. I wanted to do a, a thing about Oz, so I'm going to give it a 7. I don't know if anybody else will vote for Oz. I'll also vote for um, Road Warriors. I'm going to give it a 6. That's like the Mad Max type of comic. Animal Heroes, I will also give a 6. Toon Cavalcade, I'm going to give it a 3. Underground, I'm going to give it a 4. Gamma Blast, I will give it a 6. Gamma Blast is like Mutants and Mayhem. Uh, last bullet is westerns. I'm going to give it a four. As much as I love westerns, um, I don't know if anybody else likes them as much as I do. Uh, this means war is war stories. I'll give it a four. And under C, I'm going to give it a four. And once I submit this, since I'm the admin, let's see, there it is. Thanks for taking my survey. Done. Um, I can actually see, I think, um... Oh, I can't show you on my iPad because I have to log into my account. Okay, so never mind. But uh, I could actually show you uh, what's in the lead. So let me actually do that. Although I can't show you on this iPad, I could just read it to you on my other my other monitor. So here it is. Hang on. This is called Survey. We recently had to move. I was doing these on Survey Monkey before, but the um, scoring mode that I like to use, where you rate all of the different choices and come up with the top score, um, just went pay only. So I guess all apps eventually do that. This is how we came up with um, Nine Volt Monsters. Um, we had a bunch of different topics. A lot of them that you just saw were recycled from before. And let's see, results. Okay, I can just tell you that superheroes, no, I can't tell you, hold on. I gotta put the average. Adventure Awaits is in the lead with 5.18. Animal Heroes is second, is tied for second with Weird Arcana. And then third place is Underground. Pretty cool, okay. So I like all of those. Um, I'm excited to do any of those types of comics for the next thing. I'll have to get a screenshot to show you what's going on next. Now, what's going on comics-wise? So, <laughs> I could tell you about Brillig. Let's let's look at Brillig real quick. Uh, la, 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 this one. This one. I have got up through, this is page 10, as you recall. This is page 11, and it actually got finished, so... There it is. Although I'm not 100% sure 
about the eyes over here, but I did the whole whole page. If you go to my Instagram, which is slash rabbitfighter13, you can see the whole page for free. But um, I have a page that was page 12. This would be, would that be page 13 then? No, that was page 11. This is page 12. So page 12, I've got the roughs of it, and I haven't started inking it yet. Um, what happens on page 12 is... Brillig in dodo form comes around the corner. The frogs are already escaping. They're just laughing their little asses off. And they're taunting him as they run. And the reason they're taunting him is because they've set a trap up. And Brillig trips over the tripwire. And sproing. And then he falls. And then we'll see on the next page what happens. So this is the, the format that I prefer to use. Um... Some people like the the uh, the two page spread format. It's very popular in manga, and it works really well if you're going left to right too. I mean, rather, rather right to left. I prefer the one beat per page, where you've got basically a sort of a micro story from beginning to end on one page. But is that all I did today? No, that's not all I did. Well, I finished the other page, then I started this one. But I've also been working on Tarzan, and I've been um, inking that one. So. This one may may be in color. Hang on. I'm trying to convince Jacob Moore to do it. I actually got him in the credits already. I've talked to him. He's going to give it a shot. Um, colors by Jacob Moore. Um, this is my uh, Tarzan and the Jungle of Demons comic. And I have... I'm already into the second page of it. Second page, second panel. Um, I've got pencil roughs, and what I did was I sort of like photographed in my pencil roughs, and then I've been kind of going over them. And a lot of what that means is I've been ignoring <laughs> what's in the original. So, like, I don't know if you can see my temple here. Like, that's the temple now, but look what it originally looked like. Originally, it looked like this, which is much smaller. And I had my soldiers kind of standing around it. Um, and I thought, you know what, they should have a truck, and it should be a lot bigger. And then this is supposed to be an abandoned temple of what Tarzan calls the Skull People, which are a, they were like a, a cultist group that he'd already uh, handled and kind of banished from the jungle, because, you know, he's king of the jungle. Lord of the Apes. And I've, I've been working on this panel with Tarzan swinging down to take on the soldiers, in this next page, he's kind of hiding out as these guys say things like, you know, it's too quiet <laughs> or something. I'll have to come with some kind of dialogue. And they're talking about what's going on and why they have uh, a captive. So um, on the next page is, I don't have them scanned yet. Oh, I have one of them scanned. So I have him, you know, Tarzan comes out and does battle, right? So we have a little short battle. And I think I've shown a little bit of this already. But yeah, there's the other pages. So I've got I've yet to scan these, and they are super rough. Um, Tarzan jumps out, fights these guys, kills that guy. This guy runs away. Um, he saves the captive. They talk, and then together they go into the ruins. And I've got to probably redraw this. I have it like a gate, but obviously if we look at the picture I drew here, not here, but here, it's probably more like a staircase or something, or I'll have to figure out some alternate way to frame it to make it look like it's going the right direction. That ought to be fun. Anyways, so that's what's going on. <laughs> today um i will do a little bit more of this this panel it's this is a pretty simple panel let's see what it looks like when i take the um that's probably enough actually right now but i want to do some textures on the um tree whoops maybe not some erasing on the tree but some textures on the tree and you don't need to do too much although i want to get more like i said big um areas of you know black ink in there 
to set off some contrast. And that always looks good. If you can't get the um, solid black areas in there, whoops, there's a foot. If you can't get the solid black areas in there, you've got to um, figure out some other way to do it to get your contrast out there. But I've got, you know, two solid black areas. I got his hair. And my version of Tarzan has a black loincloth. There's all kinds of different ways you can do it, obviously. I was actually looking at um, some of the Marvel Tarzans. Tarzan is mostly, um, in my mind, associated with DC and Joe Kubert. There was the 100-page Tarzan um, books that would come out. Let me see, is that the right one? Yeah. And there was also Korak, Son of Tarzan, that DC did. But Marvel did it uh, a version of Tarzan as well. These are, let's do some nice black leaves here. And it's really good. I mean, I, I like the DC version because it's Joe Kubert. But um, the Marvel version is John Buscema, and he's, you know, he's Mr. Barbarian. He knows how to how to draw the that kind of comic, right? Oh, this is actually looking pretty good. If I if I if I black out this kind of corner area, and do some leaf texture, I think we're in good shape here. What's the next panel? The next panel is these soldiers. And basically, Tarzan has jumped to a, a better vantage point to overhear what they're talking about. And if you remember, Tarzan is set in like the 1900s. It's like, it's very out of Africa. Um, this is stuff you can't really, like, there would be all kinds of like, like people up in arms by Tarzan in this day and age. So this version of Tarzan, which is the Imperian Vol version, takes place in an alternate universe. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move Tarzan off of Earth. He's leaving via some kind of magical portal into the jungle of demons, um, which will be like an alien jungle with dinosaurs. I already have Pelucidar, of course, which is where Ungabunga is. It would be so cool to do a Tarzan Ungabunga crossover. Um, if you're wondering how is it that Peter is allowed to do a comic with Tarzan, Tarzan's in the public domain. Although um, it's like not every Tarzan novel, but that's okay because I'm not taking stuff from any of the other novels. I have my own version. You can make what are called derivative works. And another thing that's in the public domain that I plan on using is Blue Bolt. And this is the, um, I was thinking these soldiers are from the Blue Bolt world, which is, an, which is a comic that young Jack Kirby did with, with uh, Joe Simon. Was it Joe Simon? I think it was. All right, so that was a bad tangent. Maybe I shouldn't have moved that one right there. Maybe something like that. Okay. So we'll have to draw in a lot of more backgrounds and things, and um, I think we will do like a a silhouette. 
for Tarzan. Anyways, if you would like to be part of the next 9 Volt Anthology, um, you can come to the Adventures in Comic Making Discord and visit the 9 Volt Submissions channel. And that's where the four, that's where the, uh, the, um, what's it called? The survey is located. And we would love for you to contribute. And we're looking forward to putting out another book. The 10th volume will be coming out in June. To me, that's a little bit far to, <laughs> to wait. I'm going to try and publish several things before then myself. But I think it's a um, nice, good time to figure out, you know, what you want to do and get your thing done. Our, um, I'll just tell you a little bit about our standards. Minimum is four pages. If you want to do more, you can certainly do more. You can do as many as you, as you want. Um, we're no longer accepting just anything. We want it to have um, a sort of baseline of quality. However, um, you know, you, even if you're... If you don't think you're you're there, we'll we'll help you. We'll walk you through it. And we've we've published all kinds of comics before. Um, we're definitely an amateur anthology. A great place to show your stuff. You get a book. It has your copyright in it. It is sold at cost. So I don't make any money from it. The Discord doesn't make any money from it. And um, nobody does really. But you have you can buy a copy of the book and you can have it on your shelf and have your own proof of copyright. You can republish it if you your stuff if you want. If it, if the anthology was enough to get you motivated to complete your story and then you want to go and like republish it, go right ahead. That's awesome. And I don't know what can I tell you. I'm after this I'm going to go watch the cartoonist Kayfabe interview with Peter Laird. I've always wondered about Peter Laird. I used to read his blog back in the day. This is a a vine. Let's see. I've got to figure out a way to push him further to the background and it might be a matter of something like that. I don't know. I'll have to figure out something to do it. Or I might have to erase him entirely and just do my my soldiers first. Because I, I broke the rule. You have to do the things closest to the camera first. All right. Anyways, please like, follow, and subscribe. I'm going to continue drawing. There's obviously lots and lots and lots of work to do. Be inspired. Get stuff done. I've been working very closely with Bishop on... Um, the next Shotgun Wizard, that's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, what else is going on? Oh, and I've got at least a couple of pages ready for Eden, so Eden's going to be coming out soon as well. Eden, will, that's what I do as sort of a web exclusive on Instagram. And it's also my website, which is thevolverse.com. And I don't know, all kinds of stuff going on. It turns out you have a lot of time over the winter, <laughs> so... All right. Talk to you later. Bye.